Shantae and welcome back to another episode of Shaking Up with Shantae. This is a very special episode right here. I'm giving you guys the recipe and my secret to my strawberry shortcake that I've never ever given anybody a day in my life. This is the best strawberry shortcake you've ever had. Take notes and keep watching because you're going to want to make this for every single holiday there is. Without further ado, let's shake something up. Now, for this very special recipe of mine, I will be using this um, Duncan Hines Strawberry Supreme Cake Mix. Now, if you wanna make your own strawberry cake from scratch, you're more than welcome to, but I'm gonna show you a very simple and easy peasy way of how to do it straight from the box. You're gonna need some milk, of course. You're gonna need some um, pan spray, some butter pan spray, some eggs, some sweetened condensed milk, some vanilla, you can use the strawberries that come in the container with sugar. You can use that. Um, you're going to need some butter. Of course, you're going to need fresh strawberries, some cream cheese, and some Cool Whip or either whipped topping. It doesn't matter which brand because we're going to spruce this thing up to the very T. Okay? So first thing first, I'm going to move all of this out the way and get my cake mix in a bowl. All right, y'all. So the first thing I'm going to do is mix my cake mix according to the box. The instructions on the box says one cup of water, three large eggs, and a third cup of vegetable oil. So what I'm going to do is substitute my one cup of water for one cup of milk. I'm going to substitute my three large eggs for four medium-sized eggs. I'm going to substitute my one-third vegetable oil with a half a cup of real butter melted. So I'm going to get this cake mix in the box, out of the box, in the bowl rather. When I tell y'all this is the best strawberry shortcake ever, honey. Oh, honey, this is the best strawberry shortcake ever. So I got my cake mix in there, and I'm going to put my eggs in here. I have four medium-sized eggs. Now, like I said, if you want to use um, a cake from scratch that you made, you can do that. You can do that. But this is really simple. Duncan Hines has done it for us, honey. It's very moist and i mean this is a very moist cake so i got my four eggs in there i'm gonna put my half a cup of melted butter in here and then instead of that one cup of water i'm going to put one cup of milk and this is regular whole milk this is going to give your cake a more homemade taste you know without all the extra steps and all the work that you have to do so let me sit this to the side really quickly all right and i am going to get my handy dandy hand mixer and mix this now you can also use a whisk or a fork you know just mix this this is more um this is quicker for me it's much easier and i like to use my hand mixer Started off on one, and I'm going to slowly work my way up to five. All right, so I mixed that for about one minute. You don't want to over mix it. I mixed it on um, high, which is five. I started off at one and worked my way up. So um, that's all it takes is, is, is like a minute just to mix it. It's going to be thick. And what you see in here, y'all, you see down in there, you see those lumps. Those are um, strawberry bits and pieces that Duncan Hines put in their cake mix. So um, it's a added extra bonus okay all right y'all so this is my glass um baking dish and this is an eight by eleven so i'm gonna go ahead and spray this with my um baking spray whatever kind of spray you want to use if you want to use butter oil you can i just like using this it is a baking butter non-stick baking spray so i love to use that so i'm gonna take this cake mix and just dump it right in Thank you. 
and I already have my oven preheated on 350 degrees and I want to say this cake may take about 25 minutes but check it because all ovens vary so just check it when you start smelling your cake because a lot of people can't make box cake mix for some reason even if they follow the directions on the box but it's very very simple you can also follow those directions if you have oil you know use the oil I just use I just like to use butter you know but I most most definitely recommend the butter and I also recommend using milk instead of water. Okay. So you spread your cake out like so. It really doesn't matter how, how it looks because we're going to cover this baby up once it's done. Just give it a little wiggle so everything can settle because it's thick like this. Now, if you make this cake right out of the box like the box says, it's going to be a little bit more loose. But I want my cake kind of firm but moist at the same time. So I'm going to put this in the oven for about 25 minutes and get started on my strawberry puree. All right, y'all. So next thing for my strawberry puree, kind of sort of syrup thingy, I call it. I'm going to use a container, and this is a 15-ounce container of sliced strawberries sweetened with sugar. It already has sugar in it. Now, I get this from Food Depot, Kroger, you know, any kind of place that sells sliced strawberries. They come frozen, but I've let mine thaw out. Now, they are already sweet, but I'm going to tell you what I like to do with mine. I like to take this container of strawberries, pull them in a pot, Get you a small little pot, turn it on low, very low. I'm going to add to this, I know it's already sweet, y'all, but it's cake, okay? Three tablespoons of sugar. Three tablespoons of sugar, okay? I'm going to let that simmer just enough so that it can all mix well, heat up good together. You know, just combine, honey. Just combine all together. Okay? So, now that that's ready to cook, I'm going to let it cook down just a little bit. I'm going to take my fresh strawberries here. I've already washed and cleaned them. All right? So, I'm just going to cut the ends off of this. Okay, I'm going to cut these because they are kind of big, so I'm going to cut them in threes, okay? Just cut the tip off of them. Cut them into threes. These are some big strawberries, y'all. Now, if you like a lot, a lot of strawberries on your cake like I do, depending on how I make it or, you know, depending on what size I'm making, I have a bunch of strawberries because normally for my family, I use one of those gigantic serving pans, you know, like the, the steam pans, the big, really silver steam pans that you use when you're serving food. I bake my cake normally, and I normally take three boxes, honey, and um, make a cake when I'm going to a family function because that'd be the first thing to go. Like I said, trust me. This is the best strawberry cake you will ever make in your entire life. <laughs> this is the best cake, honey. I need to market this, but it's the best cake. Now that all my strawberries are sliced up like I like them, I'm going to take two tablespoons of sugar, sprinkle it over them. Well, a tablespoon and a half. Depending on how many strawberries you got, and depends on um, how sweet you want want them to be. If you just want strawberries and you don't want to add anything extra to them, you don't have to add anything extra to them. So I'm gonna give these a toss in this sugar. Okay, y'all know strawberries and sugar makes a little water, so we're not gonna add any water or anything to this. Now what I'm gonna do is just let this sit. I'm going to let this sit to all the strawberries absorb all of that sugar. And adding straw adding sugar to your strawberries enhances the flavor of the strawberries cuz a lot of times you buy strawberries out of the grocery store depending on what time of the year it is, they're not that sweet. Okay? So I'm just going to sit this to the side for now. 
I'm gonna give my puree here a stir because I see it starting to simmer. I'm gonna give this a stir and I'm gonna continue to let it simmer. And this probably is gonna simmer for a total maybe about 10 to 12 minutes. And then I'm gonna cut it off and sit it to the side. Okay, now I'm gonna get my bowl. I'm gonna open up my um, container of, this is a Philadelphia cream cheese and I wanna say it's the eight ounce packet. I let this sit out um, to room temperature because you don't want it really, 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 really cold. You want this to have sent out some. That makes it easier to mix. I'm going to put this whole container in there. Then I am going to add a 13 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Now you can add whatever brand you like, whatever brand you want to buy. As long as it's sweetened condensed milk, it doesn't matter the brand. All right, so I'm going to pour this whole can in here. All right, now I'm going to add me about a tablespoon of vanilla. And I'm using the McCormick Pure Vanilla. And I'm just going to mix this. Like I said, the hand mixer is good, but... If you want to use a um, whisk, you can, or a fork, or whatever you have, just mix it up. I'm going to mix this on one on low until it starts incorporating everything in there. Okay. So now that that is mixed up, when I tell y'all this right here is ice cream by itself, <laughs> Mix you together some sweetened condensed milk and cream cheese and a little bit of vanilla. Honey, this is ice cream by itself. This is gold, baby. This is gold. All right, so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take my whole container of whipped topping. I'm going to take this whole container, which is eight ounces, and I'm going to fold it in here. Don't stir it, y'all. Don't stir it too fast when you put it in there because it's going to loosen up and make it kind of watery. Just slowly incorporate this whipped topping in here. Slowly incorporate. Don't um, use your electric mixer. Get your spatula and just gently fold. Fold. Fold that whipped topping in there until it's completely mixed up. We don't need any milk to this. We don't need any eggs or anything. Let me stop for a second and turn my strawberries off. Y'all see how my strawberries looking? It has cooked and pureed all down in there. I bet you, honey, this, this syrup right here is sweet as I don't know what. I'm gonna turn it off, move it so it can cool down. I'm just gonna let it sit, okay? Let me just finish over here mixing this. Once I mix this completely, I'm going to go ahead and stick it in the refrigerator until my cake is done. All right, y'all. Here is my cake out of the oven. I did let it sit and cool for a little bit. I'm going to take a fork and poke some holes in it all over. Don't go down to the bottom of the cake. Just poke some holes in it. This is the type of cake that... um once you try to cut it, it's not really, you can cut it, but when you dig it out to give somebody, put some on a plate or what have you, you're going to need a big spatula, honey, or a spoon, one or the other. All right, and my cake is very soft like a homemade cake. It doesn't have that texture of a box cake. All right, so I'm going to take my strawberry puree that I made over here my simple serve and it has sat and it has gotten thicker y'all it's really thick I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pour this all over this cake just like so take my fork spread it out make sure it get down in the holes I want it to get down in there and I want this cake to be juicy because this cake is gonna is typically a wet cake. And once you make this cake, you want to let it sit for at least an hour. 
before you dive into this. You, you're going to want to dive into it way before, but I'm telling you, you know, try to resist it and give yourself uh, about a good hour and then you can come and dive totally in. But you're going to want to cut it as soon as you get done making it. Trust me, you're going to want to. You see how all of my syrup is soaking down in that cake? That's exactly what you want. And then I'm going to take these strawberries and I'm going to spread it all over this cake. Make sure y'all use a big enough pan, you know, when you cook this in. You don't want to have a big pan where it's too big and, you know, then you don't want to have a small one because I really could have used, I should have used one of those half size aluminum pans because it has a little bit more height on it. I'm going to spread these strawberries out because I want a strawberry in every bite of this cake. You can also make this syrup with fresh strawberries. You know, just cut your strawberries up, put you some extra syrup in there, I mean some extra sugar, and let it just cook on top of the stove. You can do that. But I like to use these because they're already sweet. So now I'm going to take my topping, which is my icing that we mixed up earlier, and it has been in the refrigerator for about 25 to 30 minutes or so. And this is my icing. So I'm going to take this, and you see the consistency of it, and it's really creamy and smooth, y'all. And it's not too sweet. It's like the perfect sweetness. And you get this texture right here by letting this sit in the refrigerator. See, it's not too thick, and it's not too runny. It's like the perfect consistency. I'm going to take this, and trust me, you're going to have some extra leftover. You're going to have some of this icing extra leftover. Take this right on top of those strawberries. And smooth it out. You can put as much of this on there as you like. The icing is the best part of the cake, honey. It's the best part when I tell y'all. Now I have made this cake, honey. Um, Several, several times, and some I've even made this cake honey and put some peaches on it before I made a double layer. And I had peaches and strawberries and pineapples in it, and then I um I put my second layer of cake on it and I icing it up. I put my strawberry puree in the middle. When I tell y'all, honey, that was a real fruit cake right there, baby. But it was the best fruit cake. It wasn't that old fashioned great grandmama fruit cake, baby. But it was the best fruit cake I have ever had. And I mean that cake got gone within minutes. It was gone. When I tell y'all gone within minutes, it was gone within minutes, honey. Every fa family gathering we have, they always say, you gonna make that strawberry cake? You gonna make that strawberry cake? It's either that or the sweet potato dump cake. Go back and find that video and watch it. Sweet potato dump cake. Alright, now these are my strawberries that I have been soaking in sugar, just sugar. I sprinkled two tablespoons of sugar on here. And look, it has already made, you see it's kind of syrupy. See there? See how I made that? Hmm. Huh. When I tell y'all, eat these strawberries just like this. These strawberries are the bomb. So what I'm going to do is take my hands. Let me wash my hands really quick. One more time, y'all. They already clean, so I'm gonna wash it one more time because we're gonna go hands on with this, honey. All right. So I'm gonna take my freshly washed hands and I'm gonna take these strawberries. I'm gonna place these strawberries all over this cake, honey. These are the strawberries that I cut up. I put the sugar on them. Well, I just sliced them up. Put the sugar on them, make them like a candy. Strawberry honey, you can't skip this part now. This part good, because everybody gonna want a piece of this and they gonna want this piece with a strawberry on they slice. And this kinda kinda guides you into um, how your slice is gonna come out too. So you can use this. And you just place your strawberries right on top of your cake. Just like that. And like I said, make sure y'all use a big enough dish. And then if you have extra strawberry like I got, just go ahead, honey. Fill this thing up with strawberries. After all, it's a strawberry shortcake, baby. 
fill it up with strawberries, honey. Put you some strawberries everywhere, all over this dang on thing. And if you feel like making, just call me, honey. I'll make y'all one. It ain't gonna be free, but I'll make you one, baby. Because everybody can't bake and everybody can't shake. Okay. You're going to put them strawberries all over that cake, honey. Yes, ma'am. Every piece of that you got, you just stuff it on on there. And you're going to take this simple strawberry syrup. Hmm. Hmm. You think we're going to waste any of this? No, ma'am. No, sir. No, we're not. Okay. There you go. Best strawberry shortcake you'll ever eat in your life. This is the best. When I say the best strawberry shortcake you'll ever eat, honey, this is the best. Now, look at here. When you make this, make sure you let it sit in the refrigerator. Cook it in a bigger size pan. This was an 8, eight by 11, which I should have used a 9 by 13. Um, and it would have been perfect. Everything would have just been sitting in there. But you see, I got a little drizzle on the side. But it's okay because we about to cut into this. And everybody in this house is going to dig in and eat some. I'm going to cut some more pieces to take a couple of folks to pieces at work. So this is going to be gone tonight. I ain't, you know, I ain't going to worry about that and worry about the extra overtures and the juices dripping. And that is perfectly okay. But we're going to cut into this. We're going to, I ain't even going to sit this in the refrigerator and let it stay. I'm about to cut into this now so y'all can see how good, how delicious it is. Give me just a second, y'all. All right, y'all. So, like I said, you're going to need a spatula to do this. And it is not easy, okay? So, I'm going to cut this here. Oh, y'all done cut a big old piece, honey. Oh, Lord Jesus. Help my sister. Help me. I'm going to take this cake. Like I said, y'all, let it sit in the refrigerator so it can set. I ain't got time for that. So, I'm finna do this like this, honey. Take this cake. Sit it on your plate, honey. Let me get the rest of my strawberries. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is the best part. Cake and these strawberries. Put that on now. Let me get this strawberry right there. Look, y'all, when I tell y'all, this is the best dang on. Look at them. Look at them strawberries. Everything just falling, honey. Look at that. Get into that, baby. Get into that cake. Ooh, woo. Let me turn it around for you. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that cake. Look at that. My goodness, y'all. My goodness, honey. Mm, mm, mm. You see that? Let me go ahead and taste a piece of this for y'all. Y'all see that? Let me taste a piece for y'all. <laughs> so y'all can know how good this is. Baby. Hallelujah. Honey. And it's still warm. Like I said, y'all, let it sit in the refrigerator and let it sit for about an hour. I ain't got time to wait no hour. Mmm. 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 Lord have mercy, Jesus. Mmm. Mmm. This is the best, I mean the absolutely best strawberry shortcake you'll ever eat. Please, try to make this. And like I said, if you don't, that's okay. Contact me. I got you. But attempt to make it anyway. It's very simple, y'all. Very simple strawberry shortcake recipe that you will continue to make for years. When I say for years, I mean for years you'll make this cake. Mm, 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 mm. If you're watching this strawberry cake video, share it with somebody you love. 
Share it with your loved ones, honey. Share it with your mama, your daddy, your grandma, them. Share it, honey. It's free. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, and I'll be sure to reply. I thank y'all for tuning in to Shake It Up with Shantae for her world-famous strawberry shortcake. Until the next video, I'll see you guys then. I'm going to enjoy this. Bye-bye for now. Somebody been eating some strawberry cake.